It had the whole country holding its breath last week. $656 million up for grabs in the biggest lottery drawing ever. But with big money comes big controversy. 37-year-old McDonald's employee Merlanda Wilson says she has what just might be one of the three winning tickets from Friday's record-breaking jackpot. But here's the super-sized problem. I have to find my ticket just before I can make any decision. Wilson doesn't know where the ticket is. Only time will tell whether this woman has the winning ticket. But huge jackpots sometimes lead to cheating and scams. What would you do if you saw someone with a winning ticket getting ripped off before they even left the store? Love thy neighbor. We've all heard the old adage before. But when the chips are down, do we speak up for each other? Can you just check this for me real quick, see if I won? In these tough economic times, millions of Americans are turning to the lottery in the hopes of hitting it big or just making ends meet. Once they only had to contend with Lady Luck, now they have to worry about this guy. A crooked store clerk who's about to take this unsuspecting lottery player for a ride. So did I win? Not this time. Better luck next time, as they say, right? We're at Zap Wine and Liquors in Brooklyn Heights, and we've rigged the place with cameras and hire an actor, Ross, to play our store clerk. Tracy and Carla, the customers, are also actors. What would you do if you witness a store clerk cheating a customer out of a winning ticket? Can you just scan this? I'm just going to get, do you have to have Chardonnay in the back? Yes. Just tell me if I won. All right. That sound you hear, the jingle, signals that she's a winner. But now watch that ticket. When our actress returns. Oh my gosh, I, did I win? No, sorry. Not a word from the other customer. So we try it again. Is that me? No, I scanned it. It didn't win. I, I, I... Even when Carla engages the woman. Did you see anything? Yeah, I see it. And when we up the ante to $290, listen to this woman. The machine says sorry, not the Each of them walks out of the store without saying a word. Believe it or not, it's a real scam that takes place across the country. Every year, dozens of stores have their licenses revoked for illegally pocketing winnings, winnings that belong to customers. Back at our store, time and again, customers watch that crooked clerk pocket his ill-gotten gains and say nothing. But hold on, our lottery winner's luck is about to change. So did I win? Oh, no. I uh, didn't? No, better luck next time, right? Wait, let me let me see the ticket. What's it? I don't even have the ticket. It's There's in no ticket here. Pocket. What's in my bag? What? It takes five. The clerk tells her he ripped up the losing ticket. It's ripped up. You didn't ever rip up the ticket. I'm standing what? here looking at you. But she's not buying it. But what is the problem with you showing her the ticket that you're supposed to have ripped up? Wait. Your handkerchief was over your eyes when it you came here. How could you see eyes. anything? Just like it is right now. Your yeah. eyes were down on the floor. You didn't Mr. see anything. Please. Come on, man. She's see anyone else talking? It. You're the only one talking uh, to you. Hey, hey, I'm John Quinones. Yeah. Nebra Odom thinks we stumbled into a crime in progress and points the finger. So what is the problem with giving her the ripped up ticket that you said she didn't win anything off? And when we start rolling again, other witnesses start stepping up. So why don't you give her back the ticket? That's I can't all. give her back the ticket. It's store yeah. policy. We heard the machine I say you won. won. At least give what? her her ticket there. I don't have a ticket because she didn't win. No, this is, you this said you threw it away. You said you threw it away. Give her the ticket. Give her a ticket, man. Give that ticket? lady back her ticket. I'm a retired police officer. You should get your Are ticket. Are you? Well, dude, you can yeah. get it for me. Can't you get it for me? He has to give you your ticket yes. now. And this man doesn't stop there. Not saying you. A lot of people in stores steal people's money just like that. So you're trying to accuse me of stealing Why are you so defensive about giving her ticket back out the trash? Yeah. Our crooked clerk even tries to turn the tables. We really overreacted Overreact that she yeah. won money and you're trying to steal her money. Yeah. Call the police, miss, I'm telling you. The store clerk tries to defend himself by showing them the trash. It's all tickets ripped up. He's doing something slick, miss. I know! But Ed Deloach, a former police officer, is even further convinced he has a prime suspect. I got you. Watch, watch, he's doing something slick. I got ripped up tickets, they're all ripped up. Watch him, miss, he's going It's time we introduce ourselves. Oh, good, the news is here, hey! <laughs> 
<laughs> you didn't have to do that. Why? Well, it's the right thing to do, you know? You try your luck on a lottery ticket, you should have a, a fair chance. What if he had offered you half the money and said, don't say anything? Not at all. Not at all. What if it's 500 bucks? It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Everything that goes around comes around. That got us thinking. If we offered an incentive, a piece of the action, would people be more willing to turn a blind eye to our brazen thief? Yeah. Can you check that for me whenever you get a chance? I'm just going to run. Oh, yeah, something. hang on. Sorry. Just, I'll do this real quick. Oh, wow. She won. <laughs> I won't say anything if you don't say anything. We'll split it, me and you. Yeah, you want, you want to split it? Wait a minute. Did she just agree to take part in our scam? We're about to find out. Here comes Tracy. Did I win anything? Or? What is it? Uh, no, no. No? No, not sorry. Better luck next oh. time. I could have sworn I won. Did, did it come across that I won? No, no. Did you hear anything? Did you see what was going on? I didn't see. I didn't see. I didn't see. The promise of easy money was enough to entice this one. But what about these two? Will they speak up or cash in? You don't say anything, we'll, we'll split it. You heard your ticket, though. Listen, I'm just trying to, you know, just don't sit there. I'm not why, interested why in what gotta, it why is you gotta make a, trying, trying yeah, to Why are you going to make a big deal? That's That's why. The clerk spells out what he stands to gain. I'm telling you, this is a quick 150 in the pocket. You walk out, I didn't see anything. But he is not buying. Are you insane? I need the money as much as you do. I need the money. Listen, I already told her that she didn't this win. Is, this, is a, this is absolutely not okay. But is it wrong enough to tell the winner of this lottery? Oh, that was your ticket. <laughs> And you won money, and now he's denying it. No, because now he's making things up. And he's offering to split it with me. He heads off to find the owner. Instead, he finds us. Congratulations. That was, yeah. You guys stood up to him? Well, that was nonsense. There was, there was no way that that was going to happen. Well, we did this experiment because we had heard that this happens in real life, that often the clerks will try to scam folks out of their winning lottery ticket. You could use the money, probably. Yeah. Well, who, who couldn't use the money? Well, we're in tough economic times, but that's not the way to make money. Shockingly, in over half of the 22 scenes we filmed, no one told our winner she was being swindled. But some did restore our faith in good old-fashioned honesty. And no one more than the man you're about to meet. Take it away. How was my, yeah, how'd my ticket? Did I win? Oh, no, no, no. He notices something fishy immediately. Yeah, get a lady her money, man. Don't, what do, money? don't, do, that. don't do that. She won two hundred and ninety dollars. <gasps> Shut up! Did I really? You talking crazy? You didn't see anything. Give her the ticket. Just put it in your pocket, man. Why you? Why you? Why you doing that? Something in my pocket. Why are you doing that? Check my pockets. She won two hundred and ninety dollars, man. He why saw, are you making up these making up numbers? Because she didn't win. He sold two ninety-two. Right there. That was from like this. Not your don't business. Play yourself, like, man. I've been playing. That this was game from like two or three. This thing's fickle. Give her back the ticket. What are you talking? There's no ticket. Why are you lying like that, man? It's none of your business. Let me see it your is pocket. my business, it's man. It's none of your business. Because you can do it to me. Listen, That's right. You, sir, you get a little too passionate. You just told me you don't say anything. Get are Go you get the serious? Cops. Go get the cops. Get the cops, of course, aren't coming. So what's he going to do? If she was my sister, I'd come back there and beat your ass. <laughs> because you're cheating on man. Why would you cheat her like that? Before things turn ugly, we let him in on our experiment. I'm John Quinones with ABC's What Would You Do? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> what would I do? I would take this man to jail right now. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're actors. <laughs> when the laughter subsides, Prince Monk explains that he's unemployed, scraping by on disability. We're going through struggling times here, and everybody needs something. And you happen to win, I think you're entitled to your money. He knows better than anyone these days that everyone can use a fair shake. It's really a, just a matter of you would want the same thing done for you? Yeah, of course. It's so easy to hate. And it's so hard. It seems like these days it's so hard to love. You know, and that's what we need, love in this world. 